Hello, everyone. Okay, let's take a look here. Now, I know Zoom has added in some interesting new things to it. So I wanna make sure, and I wanted to jump on just a few minutes early. We've got more people registered than spots today, which is exciting. I'm so glad to do this webinar today. Um, what I want to go ahead and do is if you can, let's go ahead, I'm going to open up the chat. Uh, if you can hear me and if you can see me, type in yes into the chat box. Um, that way I know that we're doing uh, good here. Okay, great. I'm seeing a lot of people on. So what I want to do on the first few minutes, okay, amazing. Thank you, everyone. Glad to see everyone. What I would love to know is why did you want to join this webinar? Why is it that Standing Out Online was a webinar that you chose to want to be part of. Please go ahead and type in what compelled you to want to join today. I'm super curious about that. Now, what I want you guys to know is today is a very special day um, about why I'm doing this. And I'm going to be sharing that with you guys in a few minutes. Um, but I'm definitely feeling just, you know, some nerves. i um, really excited about this but also very nervous because I'm going to be talking about some things that uh, I felt deep in my heart, but I haven't shared openly publicly yet. Um, so you guys are going to be the first to hear it. Uh, let's hear why. Okay. So let's go ahead. Everyone that's jumping on, tell me why did you decide to join this webinar? And then also what grade your kid is in or what grade you are in, uh, where you're from city state would love to know, um, you know, what is going on uh, from grade level, um, you know, what's going on in, our, in terms of city and state. So grade level, city, state, um, you know, where you're from and why you wanted to join. So type in those in here. I want to say hi to a few people as they jump on here. Hi, Aditya. Hi, Preeti. Penny, nice to see you. Um, hi, Thomas. Hi, Usha. Hi, Yvonne. Nice to see you. Hi, Elizabeth. Dave, Ethan, Fiona. Um, Anjali, nice to see you. Amar, nice to see you on as well. Uh, Amar, you're wonderful. <laughs> uh, Darlene, Daphne, Deepak, uh, great to see you on. Fiona, Isabel, James, Jasmine, uh, Logan, Kim, Paresh, uh, glad to see everyone on. Um, Aditya, Aditya is the name of my nephew, so I love that name. Uh, Isabella, Jing, nice to see you. Koshik, Namrtha, Regina, Sherry, Charlene, um, Sonal, nice to see you. Sonali, Trisha, there's so many people jumping on. This is amazing. Um, okay. <clears throat> oh, Koshik, ninth grade, Katy, Texas. Koshik, hello, fellow Texan right here. Uh, I'm originally from Houston, Texas, and I'm here right now uh, staying with my mom um, to make sure that she does not leave the house. <laughs> um, okay, Ada said, uh, wants to know about engaging her son in extracurricular activities. Um, son in 11th grade, where did that go? Yep. And live in LA. Ada, please stay safe. Uh, 10th grade from Regina, Greenwich, Connecticut. Buscar said more info. 11th grade, Fremont. Um, Sonal said sophomore uh, from Westchester, Pennsylvania. Uh, Jazz said I'm trying to win scholarships from Texas. Amisha says Johnson City, Tennessee. We've got a Jazz as a senior. Amisha is a junior. Um, hmm, I'm getting a Zoom notification. Oh, it's telling me that my webinar started. Ha! How funny is that? Okay. You gotta laugh. My, webinars, my webinar is telling me my webinar is starting. You gotta laugh at that. Um, so Nolly said, enhance my college essays. 11th Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, 11 Falls Church, South Africa. We've got a junior from 11th grader San Jose, 11th grader Edison, New Jersey, New Jersey, uh, San Jose, Dallas, Boca Raton, Rema. That is where my sister is at. Um, Atlanta, Georgia. New Jersey, Central New Jersey, Baton Rouge, Washington State. So wow, we've got people from so many different states. Lots of Californians in the house. Look at you guys all in. Um, just gonna wait a few more minutes, let everyone on. <clears throat> While you are here, please make sure to grab your hydration during this time. Yes, hydrate. Everyone jumping on, my question to you is first, yes, if you can hear me. Uh, type in yes into the chat box. Remember, what you put into this is what you get out of it. That is what life is all about. So that's one of the big things I want to tell you. I'm going to take a few minutes here to adjust everything, make sure everything looks good. I am borrowing my mother's shirt today. 
because <laughs> uh, I do not have all the clothes that I need to do the leadership work that I had planned on doing in this case. Um, amazing. Yes is from everyone. Uh, you're welcome, Smitha. Thank you so much. Michelle, yes. Did your dad always tell you that? My dad always told me that too uh, when he was here. So, um, okay, wonderful. Ria, great to see you on. Shub, nice to see you. Yvonne, Michelle, Mihir, Melanie, Maduria, Lynn, Long, nice to see you. Kim, John, Jing, Jessica, Jasmine, beautiful name. Haya, Corinne, Daphne, Chris, lots of amazing souls on today. Okay, amazing. So let's take a look. Um, here we go. Um, Avni, we will get to questions for sure. Great question. Um, yes, thank you, Anj. Yes, I'm taking care of her. Uh, Melissa Keller from Texas. Nice, Keller, Texas. Yes, nice to see you too. Okay, amazing. So lots of people are on today. I'm really, 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 really excited about today's webinar. And let me explain to you why. Um, and I'm going to get into it, into the webinar itself and why I did it. I'm going to have slides, but there are going to be times I turn off my slides and just connect with you deeply because that's really what these are about is to serve you at the highest level that I can. Um, you know, and to me, I feel like we're going through a lot right now. The goal of this webinar, just to let you know, is to bring positivity into the world, to take a break from what's happening for a moment and step back into a space as a community, as souls, as one, as a group of one, we are all interconnected together for this time so that we can have what I call the positive hour. Now, if you wanna get your news about what's going on and all that sort of stuff, you can find me on my website. I've just been on Fox, CBS, CBS ABC, Good Morning San Diego, Good Morning Virginia, Good Morning uh, Boston, luckily all from this spot right here, guys. <laughs> um, my makeshift little space that I have. Um, but you know, if you wanna find the news and what's going on, you know, and all that, that's, you go find that elsewhere. Today, and this class is all about serving you, uh, bringing my gifts to the world, sharing them with you, and seeing what I can do to support you as much during this time. Um, okay, so what I want to go ahead and do is, let's go ahead and share my slides. I'm going to open up the chat box so I can see it. Beautiful, right over here. If you can see my slides and see my face, Type in yes into the chat box so I know that you can see slides and my face. Perfect. Okay. And I know, you know, you guys are like, ooh, slides, fun. So I'll stick to the slides as much as I can, but I'm also going to move off them uh, for a little bit as well because I do find it um, important to uh, connect with you deeply. Um, so for a lot of you guys, thank you, Brendan. I love your excitement. Yes. Um, so for a lot of you guys that may not know me, uh, my name is Neha Gupta. I'm the founder of College Shortcuts. Uh, where we help students get into the college of their dreams. It's my life passion. It's my mission. I feel very blessed and honored that I found my passion early on. And I'm a true believer that when you have mentors and coaches by your side early on, we can shortcut the process for these teenagers to truly find their passion um, really earlier rather than later. Uh, great question. And so what college you go to? I went to Rice University. Rice University. Um, so my mission is helping kids get into the college of their dreams where we really help students get into a lot of competitive programs across the country. Now I'm really excited to tell you we're getting a lot of testimonials back right now. So I threw in some emails here, um, but we've got a lot of testimonials obviously on our site and um, seniors are already finding out. So it's really exciting. I've got some kids that are trying to choose between an Ivy League and another school. And it's just a really beautiful time right now uh, in our business. If you haven't read any of my books, um, there is The Four-Year Plan, uh, Chicken Soup for the Soul. One of the books I used to read as a kid, I got featured in, which was awesome. And then uh, College Shortcuts as well, which is on Amazon. If you are wanting to read my magazine, uh, I don't know, does anyone like Oprah in the house? Type in Oprah if you like Oprah. I always wanted my own magazine when I was younger, and Oprah had her own magazine. So I created Accepted Magazine because I thought, well, that'd be really fun to... Uh, do that and share my love. So that you can find on my website. When you go there, there's a pop-up and you'll get it. Um, now, many of you guys may have seen me on the press or you've seen me on TEDx. Uh, if you haven't seen my TEDx, it's a beautiful message that I share. It's called, Is Achievement Killing Us? Go ahead and bookmark that for later. Um, but been on the news a lot. And then as of recently, I jumped on the news a lot as an expert regarding how to handle coronavirus and the admissions process and the day-to-day -day changes that keep happening. Um, so it's been a really busy last few weeks for me, 
um, just to help on Fox, CBS, ABC, and Good Morning Shows, and, and there's going to be more to come. So I'll continually update you guys with that. If you want to see all my clips, they're on YouTube, but uh, there's more that's coming. And thank you so much, guys, for the congratulations again. You know, I really believe I am a soul that's traveled to this world and this earth to serve as much as possible. And as long as I can help serve my community and all the people that listen, uh, that want to get the help they want, um, you know, I'm here to serve. So that's what I'm really excited about. Now, on today's masterclass, there's some things I want to talk about. I want to talk about, oh, thank you, Melissa. You saw my TEDx talk. I love that. Thank you. TED Talk's great. Um, so what I want to talk about today is the coronavirus and the effects on students, um, how students can stand out in admissions and in life, how to keep our bu students busy during this time outside of just schoolwork effectively, um, how to help students learn entrepreneurship, branding, marketing from experts, where our education system is failing children. I'm going to talk on a topic that I've not talked about before, uh, but I think it's very important during this time and how entrepreneurship can change your child's life. Now, I want to take a minute and just chat with you for a second. You know, I think one of the big things I've realized during this time is that <clears throat> the virus is here. It's, it's been here for some time and it's going to be, be here for more time as we keep going. And there's, you know, the way we are as people is, we're just amplifying more of what we are. Um, to me, I'm a, I'm a leader and being a leader is not always easy. You know, to be very honest, um, you know, I have a friend of mine whose dad was in the ER last week, um, also had two underlying health conditions. I've been supporting her as much as I can from far away. We have friends uh, that used to work for my parents that their wife is, you know, now in critical condition. So it is not that this crisis has not hit home for me in any way. I want to make that very clear. I feel it every single day. But what I've realized is people become more of who they are, meaning I have always been a leader. Was I naturally born a leader? No. It is, it is something that I worked on, I was mentored in, and I have pushed myself constantly to continue to be. Um, being a leader during hard times is actually way harder than being a leader during good times. It's definitely not an easy choice to be a leader during this time. You get hated on, you get criticized, people are mad that you're positive. I can't tell you the amount of hate emails I get on a daily basis to tell me to shut up. And it's hard. I mean, I'm not, you know, perfect. And this webinar is not going to be perfect. This is a live class. I'm going to do my best that I can, but I want to share from my heart what's been going on and what I truly think these kids need. So I want to tell you a little story here. You know, when I was in high school, I remember the day 9-11 happened because I was in high school when it happened. I remember the days after it when it felt like the world was ending. You know, my dad was on the phone with someone in the Twin Towers because he ran a telecom company at the time and heard that person die. And I remember the effects it had, not just on him, but also on me as a teenager in my school, um, on how we felt as a family and our safety and how scared we were and how terrified we were. And so I'm, I'm an example of someone who's been through a crisis as a teenager. And that's not the only crisis I've been through. You know, I lost my dad in a car accident when I was 18. And I've gone through hardship after hardship. And I've had my heart broken. I've, I've dealt with so many different things. But I think one of the things we learn from hardship and difficulty, and when our heart breaks for the world and our heart's in pain, is that we learn more about ourselves in the hard times than we ever do in the good times. If you agree with me, type in yes in the chat box. And I truly believe that these children right now have a beautiful moment of time to learn from this experience. And as someone who's been through a crisis in high school, I built myself to become the mentor I needed during that time today. And that's why I'm doing this. That's why I push way past the haters. That's why I don't care what people think. I have a vision that's way larger than myself, than this soul that I've been given. I have a vision that's way bigger about children and what their education should be. And it's, it's been birthing out of me since 2018. I've had this dream and it's been haunting me and bothering me and it, it steps into my world and it creates disalignment at times into things that I do because I need to express it. So if today is not perfect, just understand it's because I'm expressing 
the birthing of something that is huge for me and huge for the planet and for the world and our next generation of leaders. So I just want to explain to you that during crisis mode, people need people close to their age, mentors, or people that have been there and done that. And I will leave it at that. Your teenager needs a coach, whether you understand that or not. That is my honest opinion as someone who's lived through it, breathed through it, and gone through it. The second thing I want you guys to know is that we're in this together. This is not just about you know, us trying to do all our things alone in isolation. That's why I do these webinars to bring hundreds of people together. So I just wanted to share that with you um, to understand why I find this to be so important during this time of you know, difficulty, challenges, and confusion. Um, but I want to talk about the coronavirus specifically and the effects on education and my viewpoint on it. You know, schools are closed right now. And I'm getting calls from parents where some schools have just closed their doors. Uh, some schools are just sending videos or worksheets and they're saying it's optional. Uh, some kids are in class. Some kids are not. Can you go ahead and type in the chat box and let me know what the situation is for your family right now? Because I'm curious and I want you guys all to see the lack of consistency in the education system right now across the country. Because <clears throat> I think it's very important. Um, Lynn is at home, online school, a lot of online work, online learning. John said school's closed for the last of year. So the were super scared. Kaushik, video lessons and worksheet. Um, in class, all online, no live classes. Uh, online school with normal uh, grading, distance learning, uh, kids doing online work, optional, um, virtual classes, online remote. If you could rate the experience, I'm just gonna, I wanna have an honest conversation. If you can rate the experience, one being not great at all, to 10 being amazing and absolutely the same, where do you feel the education is right now? Jasmine's saying, I have more work now than I ever did before. We've got negative numbers, two, three, some are 10, amazing if you're at that school, five, six, two, six, seven, five, negative, four, 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 zero, six, seven, three, 10. So as you can see, no consistency. That keeps me up at night. I just want to be super clear about that. The fact that people are saying negative numbers freaks me out as a passionate individual about education for our children. And I'm going to get my soapbox out for a second on this one. Parents are left to manage their kids' education. Parents, if you are managing your kids' education, type in yes right now into the chat box. There are a lot of parents that are having to step in for helping their kids, managing it, making sure they're motivated, sometimes taking on a teacher's work. Not everyone does. I see there's some no's and yeses, but in a lot of cases there are. Some kids are worried. Here Sophie says, I'm worried about how I'm going to be prepared for college after graduating even. Ada said, it's exhausting. Thank you, Ada, for being honest and vulnerable and sharing because the truth is what sets us free, guys. Students have no extracurricular activities. Not, some may have some here and there, but there's not a ton going on right now. Unless there's not much guidance for younger kids. Um, Byron's asking, is this program for students or parents? It's for both, Byron. <laughs> so if I've got students on the line or parents on the line, this is for both of you. This is for families together. If, you've got, if you're a student and you want your parent to listen, go grab them. If you're a parent and you want your kid to listen, go grab them. This is for everybody. Okay, this is for the whole family. And yet, at the same time, students need to stand out in admissions, but they don't have a lot of extracurriculars to fall back on. So we're in this situation where we have kind of like this hybrid homeschool situation. Schools are all doing it differently. It's the student's job and now sometimes the parent to take ownership. Some schools are eight to three online video live as we just saw. Some schools are assigning video lessons and homework. Some are grading, some are not. This is a lot of changes to happen like this in your education, right? Monan says I have two classes a day, all right? What is the effect of this? Some students are actually done with their work early. If you're a student or if you're a parent and you see that your ch child is done with school early, type in early. Hi, Ariane, nice to see you. If, you, if you're done early, just be totally honest. No, nothing's gonna happen to this. I just wanna know. So this is too much free time. <laughs> Lots of earliness, right? Okay, early, great. All right, if you feel like you have, yeah, Haya said I finished in the first two days. And I, this is, Haya, it's this, I had a student uh, recently tell me they were getting done with their work on Wednesday and had nothing else to do. Um, for the students that have um, too much work, 
type in too much or student parents that see too much, go ahead and type that in. See that, do you see the range? It's coming all the way. Rich and saying way too much, Shreya's too much. We get too much classwork, but overall it's done by three. Too much Priya, Alan, Sunrith, Avani, Brendan, Alice says too little. Some keep falling behind. Kids and parents, if you're lacking the ability to stay motivated, type in motivated. And be honest. This is a face of vulnerability and openness. Look at all these kids having a hard time staying motivated. This is insane. Look at all these beautiful families and souls being honest. It's hard to stay motivated, right? And so I want to be very real about what's happening. And I'm just going to share my face right now. This is my biggest concern. And I want to explain where this is coming from. And Jessica, having to spend hours figuring out what to do to kill motivation. Oh gosh, too much freedom takes away motivation. Mine said, I started binging on Netflix for the first time ever during the school year. My middle school has three classes, hardly anything on Thursdays and Fridays, said Melissa. Sal said, what is motivation? People, Penny says, six classes per day. Regina says, not early. Um, lots of students said early. You know, I wake up at 11 and it takes me till six to finish all my work. Um, classes haven't started yet in some cases, not structured enough. Um, our county is doing pass or fail. Now I have no motivation. This is a lot of shifts that are happening in the system. And this is where I want to start getting into something that, you know, God, I'm feeling the nerves. I can feel it. So let's all take a deep breath together. Okay. Sometimes being a leader is really hard because you're a pioneer and being a pioneer and starting something new and different isn't always easy. And I truly believe what's happening is the education system is broken. It's, um, it's falling and under that, is that something in that drink? No, this is just lemon, orange, mint, and cucumber guys. <laughs> but thank you for reminding me to hydrate. Um, so, what I want to say is I do believe the education system is very broken right now. And I think as parents and students, we're all feeling that uncertainty, that anxiety, that stress of what does this all mean? Does this mean my grade doesn't matter? Does this mean these classes don't matter? Does it mean school doesn't matter? Does it mean I'm going to college next year? Does it mean I'm not? And I want you to know we should all take a, <laughs> a pause. It's a, it's a moment of pause and reset. And in the reset, a lot of things can happen that can make a difference. And Anjana, I'm gonna get to points about juniors, absolutely, uh, please stay on. I've just started where I'm going. So the big thing I will tell you is there's a lot of shifts happening. And what I wanna share with you today is I wanna talk about the new method of schooling for 2020 and beyond. Um, one of the big things I wanna say is, I do feel that there's going to be a shift in our education. And you know, <clears throat> you may not know this about me, but my, I, I come from a very strong lineage of education. Um, my mom owned a school, my parents ran a business where they brought teachers to areas of the U.S. where no one wanted to work, where there were shortages of teachers, where they had four to five different substitutes before uh, for a grade and that there was no consistency. Uh, before that, my grandparents owned schools in villages in India, and they started a university for, uh, graduate university for women uh, in India as well. So I am, I have come from a lineage of education, and I never thought Honestly, I never thought I would follow in the same footsteps. I didn't think that was me, but it, it did happen for me. And, um, you know, one of the biggest things I did in the last few years was I built a school in Africa. And today I want to talk about the birthing of an idea and concept that has been sitting dormant in 2018, came fully alive in 2019, but I kept it in. And now in 2020, I was going to launch it in July but it's now bursting from the seams out of me, which is why I'm doing this. And so I wanna talk about the new method of schooling for 2020 and beyond. I believe the school system does a certain thing. 
It teaches you certain subjects you need to learn and you go into college showing your GPA and your grades. But where I truly believe that we are missing the mark where, you know, as a pioneer, I look at the system and I say, where are the kids falling through the cracks? And then as a pioneer and leader and entrepreneur and visionary, how do I solve the cracks that these children and these families are falling in that doesn't exist currently? And I realize, and I see it year after year when I'm working with students through college shortcuts, students lack the soft skills they need to succeed. And it's not just to get into college. For my junior parents out there or juniors, yes, it is important for you to learn these skills to get admitted to a top university. But did you know most jobs right now will say they will pick who fits better into their culture than just technical understanding of material? If you are a parent and you have heard this, type in yes into the chat box. They are looking for the soft skills. These are things that truly matter. And let me tell you what these soft skills are. These soft skills are learning how to market yourself, how to be confident, look someone in the eye and have confidence, a deep understanding that you have a gift and you have the right to share the limitless vision that you have within yourself and to make that a reality. We are the only species on this planet that can think a thought and idea and create it. Look at the internet. Look at this. Look at the televisions that have been created. Everything. The paintings by Picasso. These all came from a thought in our mind. And to me, I truly believe that there's, these children are, are visionaries. They're our next generation. They're leaders. And if they don't learn the soft skills, we are failing them. It's learning about marketing yourself, learning how to sell who you are, learning to package yourself well, getting presentation skills. Do you think that I was a queen of PowerPoint before this? No, this was a skill I learned when I was young and I've honed it and honed it and honed it to get to this level. This is not something that comes naturally. Just like if you look at major basketball players, it's not like Shaq just woke up and was Shaq. It takes coaching and mentorship and education and understanding. And this is something I'm very passionate about. I've been, I've been passionate about it for so long and I didn't know how to do it and I'm gonna do it today. And that's why I'm so excited about this. It's about being a servant leader and sharing your message. That's huge. You know, in terms of being a leader and a servant leader, this means coming from a place of courage, bravery, vulnerability, and being willing to share who you truly are to the world and figuring out what that passion is and sharing that in a way that the world can understand it and receive it and serving and giving your true gifts. I, I truly believe that, you know, I look back at the times I was in 10th grade and I was tutoring kids and I was passionate about art and dance and all the things I was doing. And I had found a way now to be beautifully creative in my own way in this company that I've created, this baby that I have built that is now honestly a teenager, to figure out how to express myself, to tutor these children, and to assist them in their journey. You have to think about high school, and this is why I'm so frustrated with the education system. You've got middle school, high school, college, beyond. These are it. And there's a journey that you go through from childhood to adulthood. It's a transitional phase. It's a, it's a rite of passage. And for some people, this rite of passage is extremely traumatic. My rite of passage in high school was extremely traumatic for me. It is why I created this business. And it's why I'm going to continue to evolve and motivate and help every child to get through this process so they don't have to feel all the pain that I had to go through of feeling worthless, lack of confidence, not sure if the world's gonna exist later, you know, losing a parent, feeling stressed, trying to go to a therapist and not understanding how to make it work, being mad at my parents, having a horrible relationship with them, all being a top performing student, achieving, 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 and feeling no sense of fulfillment. That is not what is being birthed right now. We are taking a pause, we are resetting, and the consciousness is taking it to a next level. The admissions process is being completely changed. GPA, test scores, out the window. It is finally coming back to the human. What are you about? Who are you? How do you explain it in your essay? What do you stand for? 
What is your resume? What are the things that make you interesting? What makes you tick? What kind of character do you have? What kind of values did your family put into you? These are the types of things that are truly going to matter, not only just getting into college and the admissions for the upcoming next few years, but in life period. If you agree, type in yes into the chat box right now. If you agree that education needs to be changed, type in change right now. Because I have a vision that is so big, I woke up at five this morning and I couldn't go back to sleep because I was so nervous about this webinar. Most of my webinars are scripted. Most of the time they are all about getting into college and doing certain things. And I think that is very important, but I do think there are better ways to educate our children. And I'm gonna talk about why it matters. Why does online branding matter? Colleges are gonna look at your social blueprint and online presence. And I'm gonna talk about this not just for college, but in general overall. When people are applying for jobs, if people are looking to work with you, they look at you on the internet. When people come to me and they look at my YouTube page, they're like, wow, Neha, I can see you've aged over the few years you've been doing this, like the last 10, 15 years. You can see when the internet started and, and the social media world started all, all the time. I have hundreds of videos. I've started TV shows around finding your dream school. I've done Facebook Lives. If you look at my earliest Facebook Lives, I'm like wearing my glasses and like a hoodie and I'm nervous and I'm talking about weird things and my board is sometimes upside down, flipped, the writing you can't read, but I still showed up every day. Have I learned through that journey how to brand better? Absolutely. Do I want do, do you realize how important that is to learn that skill of understanding that your online self is the perception that everyone sees? It's a very big deal. They're going to also be looking at this time, that this time that we have that is a pause, as one student has said, you know, about feeling like they're binging when they, they normally never binge. You know, this is a big thing right now is people are feeling a lot of feelings. And they're gonna look and see, how did you adapt during this time? Were you someone that was just hanging back, lacking that motivation? And that's okay, I don't, I'm not hating on anyone right now. I'm just saying that like, it's, it's normal to have a lot of different feelings, but they are gonna look at this time and say, what did you do during this time? And then here's another big one. Learning the skills of marketing yourself will matter for admissions, job security, and expressing who you are in this world. If you believe that having a passion matters, Type in passion into the chat box. This is what I believe. Having a passion for what you do amplifies everything in your life. It, it, um, it makes everything, it makes the hard days not as hard. You know, I go through hard days myself as a leader. I deal with fire sometimes in my business. I deal with fires in my personal life but I have a passion that burns so deeply inside me that I can't shut up. <laughs> Literally, I can't. I can't shut up, I can't stop you know, amplifying, I can't stop innovating, I can't stop coming up with solutions because I care so deeply for the children to not go through the tra traumas I already went through when I was younger so that they can experience a beautiful rite of passage. They can get the shortcuts that I didn't have. If I was me, as a teenager, I'd be a billionaire right now. The amount of education I have done, not just college, but the personal development, spiritual development, life development that I've had that I can impart into kids, if I can do that now, these teens are gonna be light years ahead of us. And when it comes to the online space, it truly matters that you are able to brand yourself in a way that really showcases who you truly are. And so when we talk about standing out online, you know, I think there's a lot of ways to do it. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna take this so we can just do this right now. Um, there's a lot of ways to stand out online. You know, of course, you know, you can find online classes right now and start taking them and get certificates for it. That's one way to start finding a way to take your passion and translate it online. That's my first tip. The second way to do it is to start connecting with other people, maybe reaching out to people that are in the fields you're interested in and start asking them questions. Maybe you set up a Zoom one-on-one -on -one call with them. 
Maybe you reach out to the community. There are people that have time right now during this pause that could be talking to you about your passion, reaching out, using the internet, doing these types of things. There's also ways to market yourself online in terms of building your own online brand. You know, for a long time, you know, people have said to me, Neha, you spend too much time marketing. And I was like, what do you mean? Do you email Coca-Cola that or Apple? Do you get mad at them for marketing their services to you and sharing their message and their values and their passion behind why they've started a new product or created this new can or they created this new phone? Like, why am I getting these emails? And then I realized my haters, they taught me something. They said to me what one of my biggest gifts is. And that's that I know the power of marketing. And when I boil down what I do with kids, if you look at it at the very end at the application process and our mentorship program too, where we're building these skills, I realize that what I do with kids is I take them from, oh, I don't have like an ugly product right now. Oh, here we go. I do actually. Let me share you the difference between what I do and where I take them to. Hold on. It's going to take me a second. I don't want to trip over my charger. Um, if you're liking this, type in five in the chat box. Oh my God. So many. Oh, I got a 10. Well, thank you. Five, seven, Vinay, a thousand. Anjali, love you too. Okay. I'm going to ask you guys a question. If I told you this was $5, would you buy it? Yes or no? Look at it. It's pink, matches my nails. It's nice. <laughs> Just because you touched it. Depends on what's inside. Well, there's great things inside. You just, you know, it's beautiful. It's great. There's great stuff inside. Um, you should take it. It's nice. It's got, you know, it's got great scores. It has some interest. Interesting things in it. Would you buy this? This says hand sanitizer. Fusionary formulas, clearly stated, ingredients, information, beautifully branded, states exactly what's in it. And I'm sorry, it's not super clear. Let me see if I can get it super close. What if I told you what's in here is what's in here? Okay. So this is what I'm telling you. Marketing matters. And the problem that I see every single day is the fact that kids don't know how to market themselves. There's no class for it for a high schooler. You're just expected to know how to do it in admission. Somehow, all of a sudden, you wake up and you're like, oh, let me take my journal and write down my notes of my whole life and figure out how to write it in 650 words. Or let me figure out how to market myself online, but there's no one walking me through this process. But it's an important skill to get into college. It's an important skill to get a job. It's an important skill if you wanna be an entrepreneur. It's an important skill if you wanna be a doctor, lawyer, engineer. You need to know how to market yourself. This is a noisy world. And to me, I've realized that so many kids show up at my door like this. But let me tell you, what's inside? is limitless, it's infinite, it's powerful, it's gorgeous. It just needs to know the exact ways to package it right so that you can stand out. That's where I think the education system is failing us. It's where I work nonstop to try to teach this to kids as fast as I can right into the admissions process. And now let me tell you, it's not easy to do that in such a fast time with a kid while I'm trying to get them into college, while I'm trying to figure all this stuff out. And so I just was like, okay, that's it. I've got to do something to better serve everyone in this. Now I wanna to explain to you, I'm gonna go into what I've created. If you wanna hear about what I have created, my vision, and the values of why this exists, type in vision into the chat box. 
Now I'm going to go into talking about this thing that I've created. I'm going to be discussing it. And I'm so glad I'm hearing vision from you. So you want me to keep going. Perfect. So I'm going to keep going here. Now look, College Shortcuts is my company. I love it. We provide virtual admissions coaches by our team side using a step-by-step -step approach ensuring their education. We mentor kids from middle school, ninth, 10th, grade, and then now in 11th grade, 12th grade, all of that is the college application process. We do tutoring and test prep. Today, I want to launch my latest program. And I'm gonna talk about it. I wanna launch something called Amplify. Amplify is the next generation of visionaries through personal branding. It's a way to teach the skills that I know very well, that I do with kids all the time that my team does with kids all the time and amplify as a way to take these beautiful souls, these gorgeous, gorgeous souls and amplify their voices and their visions online. I recently went through a sketchbook of mine from 1998 and I had written the exact type of car that I wanted to own that I now have later on. I wrote down the visions that I had about wanting to change the world. I wrote down visions of all these things. And I truly believe, you know, they say, you know, one of my good friends, Dr. Shafali, you know, we talk and she always talks about how children in a lot of ways are our spiritual teachers. They are in the present moment. They are, they, they have visions. They, they know what their passion is. It's about uncovering what that is and going through self-reflection and a, a self-discovery journey during this rite of passage that can make all the difference. And so with Amplify, I want to talk about what our values are. Our values with Amplify is that collaboration wins over competition. Right now, our education system pushes for competition all the time. And I know it's a competitive landscape. It is. I am not discounting that. But with Amplify, I see a power of a collective, a collective community of a curated community of souls, change makers, visionaries that come together, these beautiful children that come together, that can work together, that can collaborate or do things on their own. But competition is not part of our values. This is a community that's gonna help students feel empowered during hard times. We all know they need it. I know I need it. I have to create it for myself on a daily basis. We need community during this time. And this is a co-creation. This is a program that's not set in stone. It's not perfectly done. It's a co-creation between the teacher and the students. We are gonna co-create this together, this vision uh, that's launching here. And it's gonna be a living, breathing project. You know, I know a lot of times it's all about, you know, the teacher explaining this and you have to memorize it. That's not what Amplify is about. It's about working together in community. It's about choosing love as the universal truth that wins over fear. Um, I'm a lover. I don't know, a lot of people may not know this. My name, Neha, means love. And I truly believe that love will win over fear. You know, even during these hard times, people that are fearful are just going to be more fe fearful. People that love deeply, that care deeply, they're going to love even more. Leaders that are leaders in the good times are leaders in the hard times. It just amplifies who you are. And in this group, we are going to amplify love and connection. This is about building a new way and form of education to teach our children the skills they need for the new world. And this is a part that's like, this is where I'm going to get into it because I truly believe this is the new version of education that needs to be coming out. And I feel like I'm birthing it as I speak. So if you feel this for me energetically, it's because I can feel it coming out of me. Um, and I want you to know amplifying yourself because you matter and your voice matters. You know, when I was younger, I had a big voice and I didn't have the mentor to tell me like, keep going or you've got this. You know, a lot of times I had a lot of self-doubt about myself or I felt like an imposter. I wasn't sure, even though I was doing amazing things. And this is a group Amplify where I want your kids to amplify because they should know they truly matter in this world and what they're capable of doing. And it's also about creating a compelling vision and taking massive action. That's a huge step of this. If you are an action taker, type in action taker into the chat box. I'm an action taker. That's the fiber of who I am. I take action all the time. It's who I am. It's what I believe in. And so I'm looking for my action takers in the room today. Now I want to talk about my vision for Amplify. 
Our vision is to build an online school live that will teach children the skills they need for the new world by creating these mini quests for students to join together. The first quest that we will be doing that I'll be talking about is Amplify's online branding class. But these are other quests that are in development to follow. And I'm super excited about talking about this because this is like so exciting. If you're excited, type in excited. Um, other quests that I want to be doing is quests about how to interview properly, how to sell, confidence, writing authentically, emotional expression, and heart-centered leadership. I believe this world needs heart-centered leadership, not leaders who are reading off a script or leaders that uh, have ego or leaders that are, are very intense or look a certain way. I think the heart-centered leadership is what's going to stand out as we continue to go forth past this pause. I'm gonna be bringing in experts in different fields here so that you guys can understand and learn, not just from me, but from the incredible network that I've built. I have gotten to meet with the founders of many different massive companies for change. Um, I've spent time with Richard Branson, a massive visionary on his island at Necker Island. I've met with Tony Robbins. I've met Vision, the founder of Mind Valley. I've spent time with Dr. Shafali. I have spent time with many of these amazing people. And I want to infuse all of the lessons I've learned into these types of visions that I have. But I'm also going to be bringing to you amazing people that I know that are great at it. I'm going to talk about the parent and student relationship as a quest. There's a big issue that happens between teens and parents, and I want to change the way that happens, that dynamic, so that we can live together in way more harmony and more consciousness. I'm going to talk about how to create a compelling vision. A lot of people don't know this, but I have a lot of tools that create vivid visions that I actually manifest and happen like this for me, like that, okay? I want to teach that to these kids. I want to talk about personal development, creating a passion, and for my entrepreneurs in the room, I want to teach entrepreneurship to my little group of cohort of kids. And I'm going to have guest speakers to even learn about different fields as well so they can understand the things when they're being asked, do I want to go into engineering, science, math, technology? I want to bring all that together so that you have the soft skills you need and all the others. But my first quest that I'm doing, that I'm launching, starting with one quest, and that right now is online branding. And this is the beta launch. The first cohort is gonna get just, you know, the most love and the most attention as we co-create this vision. My goal is to have over 1 million students enrolled in our new version of university for students over the next five years. So I wanna go over um, Amplify, who can be part of it and the details about it. So who can be part of it is students who are in middle school or high school that are passionate, driven, motivated, they have a big heart and a desire to change the world through their message. And for students who may not know their message yet and want to get that direction with a community of like-minded souls to journey together and amplify their online presence. So if that's you, type in, that's me. Baro, nice to see you. That's me. If that's you, type in, that's me. A parent, if that's your child, type that in. Um, <laughs> Ariane said Oprah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so great. So what I want you to know is that these are the types of children I'm looking for that want to learn the soft skills that matter to be successful, uh, to be driven, to learn and understand why having an online brand can truly matter in this world and to be part of a community online of these types of souls so they can travel together in a group and be able to support and co-create together. So I want to talk about the nuts and bolts of this program. It's going to be a six week program um, that I'm creating that we meet once a week and week one is what is your idea and message to the world? This is about <clears throat> brainstorming your message as a group of co-creators and collaboration to assist in creating the next generation of global leaders and change makers. So we're going to get together and let's say, you know, one student's really passionate about mental health and another one is too. Instead of them doing their own projects and being separate and competitive, we're going to bring them together in this group to be able to work together. Um, if there's students that all have different ideas, we're going to write that all down together on a drawing board and we're going to discuss all our ideas until we figure out what that is. And on week two, we'll review your message and we're going to bring in an exercise that's going to make it feel and envision it. And as, as most people know, as athletes do, they envision the future. They envision themselves hitting the three-pointer. So in week two, we're going to review the message and we're also going to go through an embodiment experience 
of taking that idea and embodying what it feels like to amplify yourself and experience that. In week three, I'm going to teach you how to build your online presence, why it matters in admissions, but also in life. Again, this is life school. This is about the things you need to know. Week four, how to build your website. I'm going to talk about the power of building your website. And I know so many people want to build their website, their personal site, or so many people don't. And I think a lot of people put it off or the websites I have seen from teens, it's, they're not designed or they don't look a certain way that they need to for admissions just from the experience that I've seen and in life in general. And so what we want to do is create this container to hold the space for these kids to do this project together live and work on this project because we all know we can all write it down on a to-do list and say, I need to, um, you know, make sure that, you know, I get that done at some point and it's just a boring looking blog or, you know, I'll get to it later. I'll get to, later is not a day on the calendar. So the whole point of Amplify is to do this together. So we're going to teach you how to build a personal website. I'm going to, on week five, we're going to talk about the content and site review. In week six, you're going to have a final website review, um, which is really big. And Dhruv is asking, can you master, manifest online cloud if you don't have friends? So just so you know, this is not about which friends you have or don't have friends. This is just about you and you only. That's all it is. Um, so just to be very clear. Um, so that's, you know, that's the big thing. So just keep that in mind. Um, so in terms of what's included, you're going to get weekly group video classes on Zoom with me and like-minded leaders and visionaries around the world. All these kids are leaders and visionaries in their own space. We're going to have weekly tasks and resources. Children will walk out with stronger business and marketing skills and better admissions chances because of this. They're going to have a personal website completed. They'll have direction and passion. They're going to be part of a community of global high achievers and change makers and collaboration and co-creation together. There's going to be a group chat. We're all going to be on a chat together. So fun with weekly check-ins. And for my parents in the room, this one comes from, uh, I know Amar might still be in the room, but he sent an email, which I really loved. And it was a uh, unique selling proposition. Uh, and I thought I'd throw this in there because he says such great things. Um, utilize this as USP, a unique selling proposition for admissions or other opportunities. Stephanie's asking a great question. What are the students interested in STEM and not in business? Stephanie, you don't need to be interested in business. If you're interested in STEM or any technical field and you don't have the soft skills or you don't have a personal website or you don't have a way to build a personality and share yourself, which is mostly found in technical students, this is why I created this program. It's not just, it is for everybody. If you agree that having a personal brand or having a way to express yourself and for people to see online, you know, who you are, type in yes into the chat box, no matter what age you are and whatever field you're in. I hope that answers your question. It is important, especially for my technical ones, to show who you are, because that's big. And you're gonna learn branding and presentation skills as we go through this process. Now, why do this program right now? Why? Students have no extracurricular activities, really. They may have one or two, but not really. They're looking for online programs and communities to join. Most of them are, and I've looked at them on Coursera and online classes, like they're recorded classes and you have to kind of like figure it out on your own um, and you're just watching videos. I don't think that's really conducive for teenagers. If you agree with me, type in yes into the chat box if you know, that's kind of hard for you. Um, I'm taking a class from Yale right now and I'm struggling and I'm an adult and I'm very driven. So uh, as you can see, yeah, that could be really challenging. So your students are looking for online things that are fun, that are interactive um, and help them in a lot of ways. Um, students are gonna gain soft skills they need for future success. They're gonna walk out with tangible results. They're gonna stand out in the application process uh, if they have their own online process. Um, and the things that they're doing. Parents, you don't have to stress about finding programs online when I've created this for you. Um, you're gonna have students that are gonna have fun projects that they're working on outside of school. It's led by me, a top teen expert, and this is a space for uh, middle schoolers and high schoolers to come together and create a connected community during a crisis and build and amplify themselves during this time. Because a lot of times out of crisis can be a lot of opportunity that comes out of it. Um, so I just wanna make that really clear. Um, so this is, how I would look into it is it's like a six week cohesive program. And this is the first quest. 
Um, based on how it goes, I will be continuing the rest of the quests. It just depends on um, how the signups go for this class and you know how it's received. And then we'll move on to other quests together. But this is an online amplified program that is specifically focused on helping these children um, to really figure out their ideas, work together, and build, a, build their own websites of themselves together as a group. So I want to talk about <clears throat> the pricing. But before I get into that, I want to talk about some of these questions. Akash is asking, on these websites, do the students just talk about themselves or discover a certain topic? Akash, it's both. You're going to be expressing who you are. I'll be talking to you about how to do great photography, how to stand out, how to make a beautiful site, all the skills you need to know for branding. And then also before we start with all of that, we're going to talk about your topics so you can have a blog aspect to it. Sandy, if you enroll with this in freshman year and after six weeks you develop a website, then what? Sandy, there's a lot more to come. Um, this is the beginning of this vision and this birthing that's happening. Uh, Gosh, says, how does making a website allow a student to discover himself or herself? Great question, Akash. Well, one of the big things we know is that in expressing yourself and talking about yourself, you learn a lot about yourself. Um, and in putting that in a very beautiful way can make a really big difference. Um, let's take a look here. Um, yes, okay, so I'm gonna get into these later, uh, but I'm gonna keep going into if this, if you don't mind. So a lot of details here, but we'll get into it. So why do this program? A lot of students you know, don't have their online presence. They don't have a website. They don't you know, really know how to showcase themselves in the admissions process and beyond. And so what I wanted to do was create this, what I call this quest together, that all of us can travel and do this journey together so that they can stand out. And it does really help um, you know, with it. We have students that have created websites. Honestly, my niece created a website and she's nine. Um, so if you're asking how early you can start, you absolutely can start early, continue to build that market, explain yourself, and continue as you grow to add more and more things. You know, I looked at my personal swipe site re recently and I was like, wow, you know, when you write out everything you've done and you talk about your vision and the legacy you want to leave and all these things you want to do, it's, it's incredible when you put it out onto paper and out to the world because the universe gives it back to you tenfold. That's my belief. And if it's out there and it's expressed and it's done in a beautiful way, the universe has to give it back to you. So I want to talk about pricing when, when families work with me specifically. Um, I just want to make it very clear. I typically take on myself only four students per year. Typically, my, my team takes on most of the students that work with College Shortcuts. So I want to talk about the pricing of this program because I will be personally leading it. Um, so the pricing of the program, typically six calls with me is at $5,999 when I'm doing it one-on-one -on -one with students. Learning how to build a website, understanding the branding, all this sort of stuff. You know, when you have someone coaching you through this process that's done it, um, typically you can be priced to get a whole website done and perfect and, and knowing everything you need to do can be upwards of $5,000. Um, coming up with an idea and like what your passion is and interests, this can also uh, be a cost a lot that people do at $3,999. And I'm going to be having a lot of great bonuses as well at $1,999. And so typically, you know, the total value is $16,996 of what this program is. But today I'm gonna to be doing you guys a big one because I believe that for me to birth Amplify into the way that I want it to be and how I wanna serve and doing it from my heart of like, what is it that I truly want to create? I wanted to create a no brainer for families that can help serve you at the highest level um, that I can be at the utmost servant of all these children around the world that need this right now. And so what I've done is I've knocked off the price. And what I've done is I've said, that's it. The pricing for this six week live course is specifically five ninety nine. And so if you break that down, that's about 99 to a hundred bucks a class for the six weeks. Um, it also includes um, weekly check-ins, group chats, checking in with everyone, um, and it really is about serving these children during this time so that they can get that amplification together. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and copy over the link into um, the chat here. And I just want to be really clear. Remember when I started this webinar, I'm really doing this because I really want to make sure that, you know, we're staying in a positive container and space. Um, so it's really important that we all stay positive. Uh, during this time and, and you know, I'm definitely feeling very vulnerable and sharing 
my views around education and why I truly believe this matters. Um, the link is right at the bottom of the slide. Um, I'll also go ahead and type it in right here. Um, so in terms of the classes, they're gonna be about an hour long each. Um, but again, it's a co-creation. If we need to go a little longer or if things need to shift and change, that's what we're gonna do together. Um, so to me, that's what it is. It's gonna be a group Zoom call uh, where everyone sees each other, not just like webinar style, um, where I go over all the things that they need to know. Um, people are asking how many people are in this class. Um, Anjana, it depends on how many people sign up. That's, that's the truth of it. Um, let's take a look here. One other thing I wanna tell you is that 100% money back guarantee. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I really wanna be able to serve from my heart about what I truly believe education needs to be moving forward. Because I do believe that these schools are trying to do the best that they can, but they're not teaching the skills your child truly needs. And so I feel as a leader, as a visionary, as a pioneer, it's my job to do that. That's where this comes from. So if your child completes every coaching call, does the weekly assignments, does all the homework, and all they have to do is turn in everything for review, I'll go and it doesn't, you know, if I review everything and it's clear they've done everything and it didn't work out, I'll refund your money. It's as simple as that. Like when you invest in your child's online blueprint, you invest in your child's future success. We're going to serve you. I'm going to serve you at a thousand percent. If you like this, if you like me, this is what you're going to get every single time you're on a call with me. And I'm looking for those students that I can take and I can grow into that next generation. How can I create that global community of change makers, leaders, and visionaries and illuminate and amplify their voices as much as I can during this time? That's where this is coming from. So I just want you to know that's really the heart behind why I've created this program. But I also want to include some bonuses if you guys have not signed up yet. Let me go ahead and type in the link uh, right there. That link will take you to a payment link for the course itself. Um, so if you go there, you'll see a payment link and you just type in your name, email, phone, and the billing information. And once you've signed up, that reserves your spots. Um, that's going to reserve all your spot for this course that I'm doing. Um, what I'm also going to be including specifically as a fast action bonus tonight um, is a letter of recommendation. One of the biggest things that I heard from families, um, <clears throat> you know, I had a lot of, I had a student who, um, you know, she was going to be doing a Stanford summer program and she was really excited about it and also getting a letter of recommendation and now she can't. And um, that really breaks my heart when I hear kids can't get the things they need. So I've decided to do a bonus of a letter of recommendation for anyone that completes the course specifically uh, right now to, um, you know, the first people that sign up are going to get this fast action bonus. Um, the second thing I'm also going to be including is a cert certification of completion. Uh, one of the big things is that um, most people that are doing certificates um, for these courses online. And so what I want to do is make sure that you get that. I'm getting a question, is it wrong to get letters of recommendation from people you pay? Um, great question. So if you're going to a summer program, for example, um, and you are paying to go there, like if you go to like a Stanford summer program, you are paying for that thing. Um, and so then what happens is you're still asking for a letter of recommendation from the person that's running it. So it's actually not an ethics violation. It's actually that you are um, doing the course and then you can go ahead and get a letter of recommendation from the work that you've done. Um, same with an internship. If you got paid for an internship and you ask for a letter of recommendation, it's not, it's not a violation. Uh, again, I would not offer anything that's uh, going to hurt you <laughs> in the admissions chances. That's not what I stand for. Um, Ariana, don't, uh, I, I don't have a sample letter. No, I'm going to be doing that for each student. So it's not like, you know, like that. Um, What's the significance for certification of completion? Great question. And when is this starting? This is going to be starting uh, next week. Once uh, people sign up, what's going to happen is once everyone's signed up for the course, we're going to decide together what time works for everyone. Again, it's a co-creation of a program. I'm not going to set a specific time and exactly when to do it. I want to hear from you that's interested in doing this. Hey, we're going to save certain times that are available and then we'll pick together as a group together. Um, so just letting you know. Um, so that's a big thing in terms of the certificate, you know, right now, since so many students are, you know, trying to find things online and try to showcase it to colleges, uh, what's going to happen is you're going to get a certificate when you complete this course, 
that you can then send in and say, look, these are some of the things I did during, you know, during this time uh, specifically to really make sure that, you know, I'm, I've, I've done this course and I've completed it. Uh, for example, I'm taking an online course and you, you can pay for a certificate. I'm including it as a bonus here. Um, so just keeping that uh, in time. Uh, people are asking like, if we can't make the times, what happens? Uh, just to let you know, these will be recorded. Uh, the calls will be recorded after every single session. If we need to hold an extra call, you know, as like a working session call where people can ask questions that may not be able to make it, we can absolutely do that as well. Again, this is all about serving um, and ensuring these kids are taken care of. Um, the specific dates. Um, so I'm going to be closing this program um, once we have um, students signed up and we'll start uh, as soon as later of next week. Uh, Neelima, no, this is not recorded right now. I'm talking to you live. <laughs> um, is this part of College Shortcuts? This is a launched new program called Amplify. It's under the College Shortcuts umbrella because it's mine. Um, but no, this is definitely different. Um, in terms of, uh, Sandy, is this website exclusive for your child or is it going to have a College Shortcuts brand? No, it is exclusive for your child to make their own site specifically. And it's going to be that have, the, have their own a demand, uh, domain, absolutely. Nikhil, the fast action bonuses are for right now on this webinar. Once it's ended, we're done. Uh, th that's it for that. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, you will be getting the recorded calls after, absolutely. Um, so that is definitely, um, that's definitely uh, a thing. Um, I'm also gonna be including a scholarship guide that I've created, it's about 30 to 40 pages. It gives you the links of every single scholarship listed, uh, the amount, and then the, click the link immediately to the application. I'm also including that um, in the bonus. Uh, so just letting you know that that is, that is definitely um, a part of it as well as a bonus. Um, I'm gonna put the link in right here as well. Um, okay, I see people already signing up. Sweet, great guys. Um, so yeah, so the people that are signing up tonight, right now are going to be getting these three bonuses, um, just to let you know. And then I want to give you guys just kind of an example. Uh, Jessica, sign up with your information. If you're a parent, it's okay. Um, you can absolutely um, do that. And in terms of signing up, will the 97% discount only be available during the webinar? Um, yes. So if you want to get in on that deal for this price, please go ahead and do it now. This is a fast action bonus that you guys can get, and the pricing is right there. Um, and um, refund is available. Great question. So. The refund for this class is, again, it's 100% money back guarantee. I'm, I'm just at a place, guys, where I just feel like if these kids are not learning the skills they need, they're not going to be successful. They need to learn the power of how to market themselves, come up with an idea, make it happen, and that's what we're going to do together. So this is really coming out of just like the heart of me um, because I really want to make sure that these kids are taken care of. So if your kid does all the work and I review it, and I see like, okay, they've done all the work and they didn't learn one thing or anything from us, then we'll refund you. That's my view on it. As long as they've done the work, if you take the time to be part of this program and you do the work and it doesn't work for you, I'll refund you. Because again, we're co-creating. This is my beta program. This is new. This is a new method of learning. This is a new type of education. Um, Shannon, you will, you'll get your own domains on your own. So no, you, you will have to set that up on your own. Um, but there are going to be domains that are free unless you want to do a custom one. Um, that customizes to your name, you know, you can absolutely do that on your own, but that's not a problem. Um, Priya's asking, is it $599 or $5,999? Ah, oh, Priya, you're so cute. It's $599. Um, so that just, that's, that's that. Um, Julia, what classifies is not working with us? Great question. So if I see, again, it's 100% money back here. I'm just going to read it to you so it makes sense. If your child does everything, you know, completes every coaching call, does all the assignments, does all the homework, they have to turn in everything for review. And if we see that they've applied none of it or if it didn't work for them, we'll refund you. Just make that very clear. My goal, uh, again, I just wanna make this very clear too though. My goal is not to have people come into this environment in this course to want a refund. If that is your intention to be part of this and then immediately refund, please don't join. I'm not interested in having you as part of the group. Um, that is not something I'm looking for. I'm looking for the visionaries and the people um, that are really interested in being part of this and learning and doing really well in this course. That's what I'm looking for. But I'm offering that money back guarantee for if this doesn't work at all, then you get a refund. Um, because that's my intention is to make sure 
that these kids are being served at the highest point. Um, what defines not learning anything isn't arbitrary, Dhruv. I guess my way of trying to explain that is if you did everything, I mean, I find it really hard if a student learns from me and does six online courses, classes with me, has weekly check-ins, makes their beautiful website as an example here, uh, and doesn't learn anything, then we'll refund you. I find that really hard if that's possible. Um, but, you know, that's just one thing um, I'll tell you. So if you're not, again, you know, um, if you're trying your best, that's what matters. I mean, I don't know how else to say that to you guys. Um, if you're, if you're again, really hooked on getting a refund, please don't join. I'm not looking for you. That's just the truth. <laughs> I'm looking for the kids that are like, yeah, let's do this. Um, I want to show you a student that I love, Sumuk Seti. Um, he's absolutely wonderful. Someone that I've really um, worked with and done a great job. Uh, Sandy's asking, domain, we'll discuss that in the course. It's, that's such a detail. Like, that's such a small thing. Um, you're in charge of your own domain. You are in charge of all of that sort of stuff. It's not, I'm not going to keep control over the domain. That's, again, my intention is not to like keep everyone, please understand my intention here. I think there's a lot of confusion. This is coming from my heart. I want to make sure that all these kids have their own websites. They are in charge of their own domain. They do their own thing. We don't actually end up doing that. Um, I want to talk about someone who's a student that's worked with us. I'm going to play this video uh, just to show you uh, just the power of what it's been like knowing him and being part of his life. Uh, my sophomore year. Um, so my, my parents and I had gone to uh, this event, uh, and we and they happened to be there. So I think her and, and my dad were, were, were good friends. Um, and so I got introduced to that. Um, and I think she was just able to, to be so helpful um, in terms of my college experience and helping me through those, even those high school years, um, in terms of navigating that, that kind of atmosphere and how to like kind of set myself apart. Um, she did an amazing job kind of with my essays and kind of walking me through how to, how to think through them. Um, and then so overall, she was just a, a super like helping hand for me. So I wanted to play that video too, to understand like where the heart of this comes from, that to be a helping hand to these kids during this time, to help them to really be successful in their life, in, in their passions and figuring out what they wanna do and doing this in a group environment to me is extremely important. And so that's really the heart of why we're doing this. Um, if you're wanting to get that type of help and you wanna take advantage of the three fast action bonuses today, now is the time to sign up um, because that is, that is something that I'm very passionate about. Um, you know, in terms of this course, you know, like I said, typically when parents do one-on-one -on -one work with me, I charge a lot for that time um, because of the 15 years of experience that I've had doing college admissions and working with students. But, you know, during this hard time, I realized I wanted to create uh, a program that was priced lower for you, that was easier, um, and a way to really serve you during this time. Um, Koshik's asking, what's the payment link? It's right here. Let me go ahead and type that for you. Um, Lavanya, this is the group and this is the price that we're offering it at. Um, Nikhil's asking, if it's a group class, how will you help us out individually with our individual goals and vision? Nikhil, great question. So because this is going to be a group environment, everyone's going to be sharing um, in the group. Again, it's the values of it is about creating a, a group of leaders that can all work together and helping us all create our vision. So it's not just about one person working with one. It's about the group collective that actually happens. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just spend a few more minutes answering questions, then I'll just jump off. Um, I do see a lot of people signing up right now, which is awesome. Um, so I just want to thank you for that. Um, let's take a look here. Um, Ariane, which university did Sumuk attend? Sumuk went to BAPS and he was uh, also organized at TEDx. We've worked together on a lot of that. Koshik says, I'm a freshman. How does this help me so early on in my high school? Koshik, it really is about starting early in the process um, because we really want to make sure that, you know, students are learning the skills early. So let's say you are a freshman or you're middle school and you're wondering, like, why should I do this early? Well, it's all about showcasing, you know, your interests, your passions, and, um, you know, really doing uh, this type of thing. Um, so that's really important. Uh, Dhruv, if you are not interested, please go ahead and jump off. Again, this is a pot of positive space. So um, I'm doing this out of the goodness of my heart, um, but I do run a small business. And so, you know, I hope you can understand where I'm coming from and where my intention is. Um, in terms of Sunil, what is the max number of students you'll enroll in this course? Sunil, this is a great question. Uh, it depends on how many students actually enroll. If I feel like there's a lot of kids, I'll end up holding two different pods um, so that the kids got enough time. Uh, again, 
we're going to structure this. It's a co-creation to make sure it's done well. It's our first time doing it together, right? So it's not going to be perfect, but what it is going to be is a course that I'm designing to work with students one-on-one. -on -one. And so if I feel there's too many kids that have signed up and I need to do two different pods, um, I'm going to do that because that's, that's the highest level at which I can serve. Um, so that's, that's something to note. Um, in terms of, uh, let's take a look here. Nikhil, how will this help juniors? This is a great time for juniors right now, big time. Uh, it's not late. Uh, college applications are coming up. So imagine, Nikhil, if you had your website done in the next six weeks. Like, imagine if from today, or let's say, let's just look at the math. Let's say from April 15th, by the end of May, you walk out from this, having a great group of leaders and friends and change makers, possibly someone you also share a passion with, um, able to get ideation around what it is that you are passionate about or interested in, and making that happen, and then creating a personal brand website that expresses who you are, takes your resume offline, online, showcases you with great pictures and the things you're doing. Um, so to me, if you can do that in the next six weeks before applications open, you can then put that on uh, your application. And that is definitely a big thing. Um, so I just want to keep that in mind. Um, let's see. Um, Kashvi, concern is there'll be too many kids in the group and you'd be stretched thin. So Kashvi, that's not my intention. If I feel there's too many kids, I'm going to create it into two or three different pods um, to best serve at the highest level that I can. Um, someone's asked me to show the program and exactly what it is. Um, this is the breakdown of what each week is uh, specifically. And this is what you get uh, with the program. So hopefully that helps. Um, so hopefully that helps Alice. So you have that information. Um, Koshik, we'll chat later uh, about that. Um, let's take a look here. Um, so yeah, so in terms of uh, the link, that's it. Unj, what would be the maximum of students you would have in a pod? Unj, it really depends on how many students sign up. So again, I, I don't really have an answer to that, uh, to be honest, yet. Um, about how many that would be. Um, so just keeping that in mind. Um, Priya's asking, how does it help to have a personal website with college admissions? Oh God, great question. Um, I'm going to share, for example, um, and this is the more, you know, I'm just going to share, let me see if I can pull it. Where is it? Stop share. Here we go. Let me do a new share to my Chrome. Hopefully that works. Let's take a look here. And let me just type in, for example, summaxeti.com so you can take a look and see, for example, student. So first of all, Summax looks great. Um, this is a student who's driven, passionate, interested, um, talks about what his interests are. Now, this, this is like great. He talks about who he is, uh, entrepreneur, the business he started, his TEDx organization, reader, his book, his blog, and his contact. This is a very simple site, for example. That's one. I'll show you mine, um, but mine's obviously super uh, intense because I've done a lot of different things and I have quotes from magazines and things like that. Um, but this is an example site that I've created. Um, and it talks about who I am. It, it showcases who I am as a person, what I'm passionate about, what my interests are. Um, and it does it in a way that's really visual. And I think we forget about the power, um, you know, that's, that it's really important. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, so, you know, they're able to watch <clears throat> the TEDx. Um, my about page talks a lot about, you know, what I stand for specifically. I'm passionate about rebuilding the education system for children to match what the world truly needs. I wrote this mission statement last year. Here it is happening right here. You guys are watching it happen right now as I speak. So again, when you, when you are able to put together what you truly desire and want, you're able to package it well, you do it beautifully, and you say out loud what you want, and you put it out into the universe, it comes back to you, um, you know, tenfold um, in terms of that. <clears throat> Entrepreneur from birth uh, talks a lot about me, the stuff I've done, the people I've worked with. 
um, all these types of things uh, in terms of just the different things I've created um, and all these things that really, and, and to me, like, can you get a sense of that anywhere else? Not really. You get a very strong sense of who I am uh, and it's all sh showcased it in a very beautiful way. Um, so in terms of Sandy's question, after paying $5.99, is there additional costs? So we're going to be building these sites on a free platform, so there shouldn't be an additional cost. If you're wanting to create your own domain, like I have heyneha.com, um, you'll be doing that yourself through um, like GoDaddy or another service. Uh, so there might be like a $10 or $11 fee for that, uh, just to let you know in terms of the uh, cost structure there. Other than that, I'm not charging you for anything else. Just a heads up. That's not... I'm not going to charge you anything else. Levanya, have you helped students get on TEDx? Yes, I have. Uh, Nancy, is the purpose of creating a website mainly just college admissions officers to see, or is the goal to build a following in a larger audience? Nancy, it's both. It's both. Um, so may, yes, I have. Uh, so yeah, so it is both. It's not just about, okay, I'm just going to make a site that only college admissions people see, but it's also about creating, you know, uh, a, a space for, you know, if you want to have a blog or to talk about the ideas that we're going to discuss as a group together um, so that you can do that uh, as well. So, you know, we have all of this stuff here. Now, again, I have a lot of content because this is my life. Um, a student will normally have a smaller amount. I'll show you another example as well. Um, Pennies for Penguins, for example. Um, is my, my niece's website, for example. So she has her own, she has a passion for giving back to penguins. Now, this is a highly coded site, so I don't want to set expectations very high, but I want you to get a sense of like, okay, this is an example of a student who takes her passion and really makes her site about it. Um, so she has her, her message about it, what she does, about who she is. Um, you know, this is her cute, I'm sorry, I'm like obsessed with my niece. She's like a little Neha here. Um, what she learned about, why she did it, how she created her things. Um, she's adopted actually 50 penguins now. This needs to be updated. Um, but you can see there's a lot of great things here. You can adopt a penguin. You can learn about penguins from her site. So again, if, if you don't see the value of what marketing can do to amplify who you are, then you got to be crazy in today's world. I mean, showing who you are and being, um, you know, being really clear about that online can make all the difference in standing out in admissions and more. Um, let me take a look here and see what last questions we have here. So Nilfo, kudos to you on your passion and drive to help students and kids. Sunil Shinoi, thank you so much for that. Uh, love the love and light. Really appreciate you for that. Um, Dhruv, what is the difference between your program and a website builder such as Wix? Well, Dhruv, if you feel like you already have a website or you've already built it yourself on Wix, please go ahead and just do it yourself. A lot of people don't do that. They say they're going to do it. They write on their to-do list and they build a site that's not that great. I see it all the time. Like I see teams' websites and I'm like, this is what you built with all the options you could have done. Again, it's not just about building a website. It's about learning the skills you need behind it and doing it as a group. <coughs> Nichols asking, where would you put the website in your college apps? There's definitely a section and we, we'll talk about that. Um, Aditya, that's off topic, um, but that's definitely uh, stuff that we've done. John, thank you so much. Um, domains have a monthly cost. Uh, I think they're probably like, I don't even know, probably like five, 10 bucks. You'll have to look into that. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, Ariane, please go ahead and go to collegeshortcuts.com if you don't know much about me. It'll tell you all the colleges under the testimonials page we've helped students get into. But again, this is more of a co-creation, intimate group that I'm working with kids on. Now, if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one help for your applications or mentorship, one-on-one -on -one with a coach on my team, that's where you go to collegeshortcuts.com and book a call. <coughs> this is not that. This is its own standalone program that I am doing, that I want to do because I want to connect with kids and teach them the skills that I see that are missing year after year. Um, Varun, no, this is my project right now. And depending on how it goes, I'll keep going, but this is it. And if you're interested, again, just to let you guys know, I saw someone asking what's included. Um, it's a six week program. It's gonna be starting later next week. Um, so take a look there in terms of what's included. Um, 
all of this is included in the program as well. And then in terms of the course, it's 97% off right now. So if you're wanting to sign up, I'm going to be ending in about two minutes. Um, and I'm going to take a few more spots for the letters of recommendation and the bonus for the certi certifications as well. Um, so there's that. Um, Karthik, yes, the entire um, course is virtual, Thanima. So you will be doing personal exclusively. Yeah, Thanima, this is the first time I will be doing a live course directly. No one on my team is doing it. Um, it's me specifically that is doing this right now. Um, and I wanted to make it a no-brainer, easy uh, offer. Um, Nilima, the price will be different if you don't sign up today. So our goal is really focused on that um, in terms of this is a fast action bonus. Um, will, when you apply, write your own name. Parents' name is fine. We'll be getting students' names later. That's not a problem. Um, so I just want to want to do that. Koshik, sounds good. Go ahead and do it. Um, do you, Koshal, that's a great question. Koshal, awesome. Do you need to have coding or any software experience? No, you don't. Guess who doesn't have coding experience, but I built that gorgeous website. Hey. Yeah, you don't need coding experience. Um, so it's really big. So much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your expertise and your mission. Very noble. I hope to use your tips in my life's journey and vision. Sunrith, Funda, thank you so much. Love you so much. Um, Akash, no, coding is not part of this. This is not about that. Um, Usha is asking, can you please share one more time what is included? I think this is the question. This is the one you want. Um, so that should be pretty helpful right there. Um, <clears throat> I want to welcome on the people that have uh, signed. Oh, I'm Donald. Melissa, I will send you that info. Um, I want to welcome on Shannon. Great to see you. Um, Rebecca, awesome to see you on. Shelby, great to see you on. Joshua, great to see you on. Uh, Jessica, great to see you on. EJ, great to see you on. Um, Melanie, great to see you on. Deirdre, good to see you on. Aditya, uh, Jay, great to see you on. Mel, uh, great to see you on. Shannon, great to see you on. Avni, great to see you on. Uh, Ruth, great to see you on. I know we've got a lot of phone listeners too. Uh, Holly, great to see you on. Susan, James, great to see you on. Uh, great to see everyone that's signing up. This is amazing. I'm super excited. Um, yeah, so just keep that in mind. So if you want to sign up now, now's the time. Uh, Cecile, Dan, great to see you on. Resh, great to see you on. Um, Tasha, great to see you on. Ashley, great to see you on. Okay, awesome. So we've got a lot of people here, which is amazing. I know I've gone over a little bit uh, over time. So if you are interested in signing up, you have the link, please do so um, during this webinar. If you are interested, go ahead. Um, Penny, thank you so much for your time. Uh, for the students, uh, can you please show again slide 12? 12, here we go. Um, <laughs> there's that one. Uh, so this is about the mission of what we're doing. Um, if you are a student and you are or a parent, you need to talk to someone about it, I'll go ahead and keep it open uh, for the next two to three hours uh, with the fast action bonus. Um, so go ahead and um, review it and make that decision. Um, but once we have a, a good amount of students in, I'm going to probably close out the program because I don't want too many kids. I want to do it as uh, smaller, intimate groups. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, so that's kind of my intention. Um, so I hope I have answered all your questions. Um, if you enjoyed this webinar and learning about the power of uh, the new method of education, type in um, change. Type in change if this was something that you appreciate. Uh, Baskar said, thank you, Neha. You, you've given great information. Keep it up. Thank you, Baskar. I really appreciate it. The compliments are so nice um, because, you know, I get a lot of people mad at me. Um, so I really do appreciate that. Um, Koshik, let me see if I see your registration. And I'm still getting them in, just a heads up. So, oh, there we go, more people. Okay, we've got Nick Hill, great to see you on. Koshik, I see you, beautiful. And William Castillo, hey William, nice to see you on, super excited. I remember we spoke a while ago together um, and you've talked with my team, so that's awesome sauce to see you. Because I've been thinking about you, William, I've been thinking about you, because I have a good friend named William and I said, Oh my God, you guys sound the same and this data is so cool. So William, I'm glad that I get to connect with your amazing soccer player kid. Oh my God, I can't wait. Um, uh, Sam, does it have to be middle schooler or high schooler? Sam, let me know what grade uh, your kid is in. 
Nathan, not a problem. If you're not impressed, you can feel free to head out. Uh, you know, not a problem. We, we, uh, that's, that's totally fine. Um, so we'll just let you go there. Um, okay. Sam, fourth grade. Mm. Ah, good question. It's really hard for me to say no. Sam, if you've got a fourth grader that you think is amazing and awesome, um, and can be great, um, because my niece is in fourth grade and she rocked it, um, we're, I'll open it for a, for a fourth grader if you've got an amazing fourth grader. And we can talk about it if it's not conducive for that age and you need whatever, we'll, we'll support. If I've got really young global changers, like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Um, Karthik, thank you so much for defending me. Appreciate it. I let go of Nathan. That's okay. Um, <clears throat> Sarita, I'm going to focus on questions regarding Amplify specifically. Um, so if you've got questions like that, uh, any questions I'm going to answer, it's, yeah, I'm going to answer four more questions, four more minutes worth of questions. Um, so if you are on the fence and you want to sign up, but you have questions about it, now's the time to ask. Um, so I can best, um, support you, uh, specifically in this decision and, uh, what you want to do. Um, Siddharth, we should be supportive in our community during this. Siddharth, I totally agree. Dhruv, thank you. You're welcome. Um, yeah, Dhruv, your questions were super hard. Uh, glad to see you know my intentions are good. Um, Sinmith, yes, we should be supporting these kids uh, as much as possible. Um, Julia, Julia, if you ask me my honest opinion, do I need a website to stand out for college admissions? Yes. Uh, Koshik, what type of visions are you looking for? Koshik, you're in the class, so we'll be talking about that in our first class. Yay. Usha's asking, we'll be sending a recording. I may be not sure yet. Um, honestly, I don't know. It depends on uh, how many people sign up and if I just want to close it. Um, Muskan, hello. Thank you so much for your time. Really helpful and useful. Hope to attend more webinars of yours and gain more useful tips. Uh, really, you're an inspiration. Thank you for the advice. Stay self and safe and healthy. Yes, I have been. Um, so thank you so much, Muskan. I greatly appreciate you on that. Um, so Rinchen, so thank you for your time. My mom and I watch Facebook, your Facebook lives together and it really helps. <laughs> Thanks, Rinchen. I'm going to be posting a, um, I'm going to be doing a face mask. My mom and my mom's an amazing entrepreneur, but she's decided to make face masks right now to help uh, hospital workers because a lot of my family is doctors. Um, so we're, I'm going to be posting a video of me attempting to learn a face mask from my mother and what that's like to do with your parents and how sometimes it's not always easy. Uh, Julia, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, Awesome. Tanima, great to hear Adi's already working on it, uh, which is awesome. Uh, Tanima, if you want Adi to also join this, I know you're already working with a mentor on my team. You absolutely can join this as well. Uh, Varun, I don't think I'll be having another session to be totally real with you on, on Amplify. I think this is good, um, which is great. Parish, I don't know about summer yet. I'm just focused at, on one step at a time. Right now, this is the time where most people are at home. Um, <clears throat> most people have the most time. And so that's why I focused on this time specifically in the present moment is what I focus on. I'm not looking at the future right now. I'm like, okay, present moment. What can I co-create with these amazing souls and beautiful people that I can travel with together and, and chat with and work with and help these beautiful souls with these uh, amazing things. So I just want to keep that uh, in mind as well. Um, yeah, perfect. Uh, Will's asking, can parents join? Um, well, let's talk about that later directly. I'm trying to keep it mostly to teens specifically. Um, so that would be great. Usha, if you have any questions, type it in right now. I'm going to stay on one more minute. Uh, if you have more questions, um, you can go ahead, um, and look at it. Ruth's asking, how long will this program run? Ruth, it is a six week program. How many hours a week? I'll be doing a class one hour a week. Uh, if we have to extend it a little longer, as you can see, I don't mind. I just did it today. Um, if the students have more and more questions, we absolutely will extend it, but mostly assume it's going to be, um, I'm going to be teaching the class one hour a week and then we assign homework as well. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, okay guys. So I hope you guys loved this webinar. If you did, please type in yes into the chat box. Um, super, super appreciate all of you. Um, really love all of you. And for everyone that signed up, I can't wait to amplify you, your family and your voice and this new method of learning to get to that next step of where we truly believe education is going to go and to truly stand out and for you to join me in the vision that I have of eventually creating a program where 1 million students are learning the soft skills 
um, that they absolutely need. Have a wonderful day and talk to you guys soon. Love each and every one of you. Please stay safe. Bye.